financial gurus are stealing people's money. Don't be one of those suckers giving your hard-earned money to the YouTube fake financial guru. I've been away for whew, four weeks or so, if you haven't noticed. And where have I been? What's going on? Why am I off YouTube? Firstly, um, if you are or not aware, YouTube is a very, very toxic place. This video is going to be explaining what I've been doing. Also going to be showing you my earnings over the last four weeks since I have been away. Before you give your money to a YouTube financial guru, give them a simple test. Ask them for their P&L up front. You want to see their P&L over time on video or with a brokerage statements or tax returns. You want to see that P&L on a daily basis. You want to see the daily results. Be aware of some gurus that photoshop their brokerage statements and put them online. Right, so if I just press the last 30 days here. We can see total return from closed positions, £27,968. There should be only one way for this stock goes, okay? Now, I could have took this money quickly. But again, we're only in it to get 2%. Um, I've got my finger over the close button. And as you can see, it's just... Another way a fake guru can trick you is by trading two separate accounts. They'll go long one account and short on the other account. They can put on big positions and pick a stock that will have a big move like one coming into earnings. The stock will move big one way, causing high gains on one account and big losses on the other account. But net net, it's a break even. They only show the account with the gain. Yeah, I've got a new car now, that's another thing. I've got a, a brand new um, BMW out there, um, 2021 plate. It's actually the time recording this now is the 2nd of September. I've lined up a new car for the 71 plate. I might do a video on that, I don't know yet. But yeah, I'm just not, I'm not really on that, you know what I mean? I'm not really on that flexing and all that crap.
be quite frank with you, I came into trading to be a trader. I think I'm onto YouTube to be a YouTuber. and that's coming through as well which is lovely I came into trading right at the very start to trade and to make money. That's all I ever came to do and that's all I ever wanted to do. As I said, I didn't come onto this game to be a YouTuber or anything on social media. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. And yeah, guys, if you're not already, follow me on Instagram. It's LockStockTom. Obviously, if you're in the community group and your Discord group as well, you know what's been going on. You're updated every single day. We're trading every single day. We're going back to that twenty-seven thousand nine hundred sixty-eight pound and sixty-two p. Um, not really much to say on that, to be completely honest. Is it because I drew a load of money out of IG Index recently?
drop with some tensions and filters, there ain't no stopping me. So let me just separate the subject from the back of play. Using quick select to isolate and control shades and then duplicate. Yo, we fixing the edges first. To be honest, cause they the worst. Double clicking on the mask and there is all kinds of sliders that you can adjust. And how about some stylish tone? I'm telling you this through the microphone. Get yourself some color balance, man. We already get long way from home. Now let's just give the eyes a little tiny drop of spice. But maybe just blowing them up in their size and adding some colors right on their side. And also, do you know what's cool without these tips? I feel like a fool. I'm about giving this portrait a little more life by putting him up on a stool. Uh, so hit up Google, start a search, and while you at it, buy my merch. Copy and paste and try first, and then check it to see if it's worth the time and effort. Bloody hell, looking perfect, very well. It's time to add some more levels. Now tell me, does that ring a bell? And um, the nuts coming through as well.